Hi, here's coach Felipe Lima and in this video I'm gonna tell you a story about my life when I met a young guy that asked me can I make my dreams come true and at that moment I was a little bit afraid of that question because it might be a huge dream and possible dream and I asked him what is this dream and he said that he would like to get in in a really 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 difficult university and I said yeah it is possible and he said really like a incredible new and I was a little bit worried because I was giving him hope and I could see that he was not a, a good student he, he was not a person that had dedicate so many time to study, to create a good ground of knowledge. And he asked me, tell me, tell me our secret to, re to make our dreams come true. And I told him that we have to remember every day about our dreams and that you can create a roadmap and put images that of, of what you want in your life and you can put your house the city that you live, your vacations, about anything that you have a dream in your life. You can put an image about your family, a happy, uh, a united family. You can use an image from your faith and you are gonna put any picture that you want on the wall and make a connection with that pictures every day. So you are making your dreamer, your inside dreamer stronger. And then the dreamer can take all this energy and send to the achiever. The achiever is your inner part that make action in your life. And when I told him about this technique, uh, he was so excited, he was so happy, he was amazed with that secret and he left and left me with some worries. I sent that guy to something impossible. Many years later I went to that university that he asked me if it was possible to get in and I was hired as a teacher and it was incredible because I I am an ex dumb and it was really hard to me study have a good memory concentration and do tests but after that when I learned uh, learning techniques like dynamic reading memorizing mind maps I have discovered the pleasure the happiness of learning new things and when I arrived at that university for the interview I was amazed because I I had the opportunity to teach all the incredible students being an ex dumb and when I came to the interview I saw many other professors and they were really super graduated super professionals writers and incredible persons and at that time I didn't have any speciality I was just an engineer and I was amazed that my resume was enough to hire me and in my first class I was so excited to share my knowledge man to inspire people to learn more and make their lives better but a friend of mine taught me a strategy to the first class I went in the class screaming faking that I'm that I was a bad person and I got in the class screaming saying why are you sitting in this way where is your notebook where are your books boy and I was holding not to laugh fighting with myself to keep that image and when I saw the end of the class a boy was crying and I asked myself why is this boy crying I haven't screamed at him yet and when I got closer to him I put my hand on his shoulder and he looked at me I could see his face full of tears and guess who was this guy, that same guy that asked me in the past many years ago 
if it was possible to get in that university. Do you know when you feel the God, the hands God, boom! When you feel the presence of God in your life, as he was saying, I am here. Because it was almost a miracle. It was really difficult to get in that university. And he was a poor guy without any study, without a basic condition to get in that university. And when I look at him, he just asked me, Professor, did you receive the news that I'm here? Someone told you that I was approved here. And I said, no, I will be your professor. And he started crying even more. And I believe that a real man never cries. But at that moment, the emotion was so huge that I couldn't hold. And I started crying and I held him and everybody started laughing. Because that action didn't combine with my attitudes before. And I, I presented that guy, his name was John, he was a poor person, that he could overcome his difficulties, his limits, and make his dream come true. And I, I could see that he was wearing a really, really, really old and ugly shoes. It was old dirty and open with big holes and I decided to buy a new shoes for him but I forgot my wallet at home and I, I believe I just had 25 bucks and I went to a, a, a store to buy the shoes and I said I only have 25 bucks and the seller showed me a really 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 simple shoes I believe it was a fake Nike and I put it in a beautiful and huge package and when I gave it to him he was so happy so amazed that I could see an unbelievable happiness in his eyes even bigger than when I bought my first car my first my first house my first airplane that small airplane that we have when you are a kid he was so amazed that he started smelling the shoes and I said man stop doing it He's it's, it's embarrassing. And he said, Professor, today is not my my birthday. Why are you giving me such a present? And I, I remember when I bought cheaper shoes, cheaper shoes, instead of more expensive shoes. And I remember the many times that I was mad about buying a cheaper shoe instead of a, a more expensive shoe. And I felt embarrassed i felt shame about that situation because he's so he was so happy with a simple present and i start wondering the incredible things that we have in our lives that we are not grateful about it and that's not about material things but simple and incredible things as being in in the presence of someone that you love and have food to eat every day and have a good life to live, a good house, uh, many things to do to make your dreams come true. And he left so happy with that shoe, looking at that and trying to believe in that amazing event. And the other day he came without the shoe and I was worried and asked him did you sell it? No, I didn't sell it. Uh, special shoes like that, I have to use, I have to wear only in special occasions. And again, I was surprised looking for something simple and giving it value. And many times in our lives, we, we don't valorize, we don't give value to our conquests. And start thinking about the things that you you should be grateful for. And when you fill your life with more gratefulness, you will have more energy to act and make your dreams come true. It's like you have to be happy here to have more energy, power, and wish a better life. Sometimes people are just complaining about their lives instead of be grateful and fighting and dedicating time and doing everything that is necessary to make their dreams come true. Many years later, I saw John 
and he was a successful person, he was really happy, he was driving his car and I can see the many simple miracles in our lives and when you make this connection uh, something that was impossible one day but today is not impossible anymore you just start start asking yourself what is important in my life what is impossible in my life and as Muhammad Ali said impossible is nothing